we are looking at stomachs. This is one, this is one divided into two pieces so we can see the inside. Now, let's start from the top of the digestive system. Food enters the mouth, it's swallowed, and it moves into the pharynx. Once it moves past the end of the pharynx, the larynx and epiglottis are going to move food not into the respiratory system, but into the digestive system, so it enters the esophagus. The esophagus is going to move food towards the stomach, which we have here. So on our open model, we can see that we have a sphincter here and a sphincter here. This is the superior end. This is the inferior end, so this is where food enters. This is where food leaves. So this valve or sphincter up here is called the lower esophageal sphincter or cardioesophageal sphincter. Now, food, once it enters the stomach, is in one of four regions. So we have the cardio region, which is right next to that sphincter. We have the fundic region, which is back here. The fundic region has the ability to expand greatly. And if you overeat, the fundic, a lot of food will get stuffed in that fundic region. The body is a large region it makes up the majority of the stomach. And then we have the pyloric region here. The pyloric canal leading into that pyloric sphincter where food will move from the stomach to the small intestines. Of course, it's not called food, it is called chyme at that point. Inside here, we're seeing lots of ridges. These ridges are called rugae. And what happens is rugae are folds of the stomach lining. And when it's not full, we have lots of rugae and they're folded. But as we eat more and more and fill up the stomach, it expands. And the rugae give room for expansion. Now one other term on your list for the stomach is the greater omentum. This is a stomach from one of our torso models. And we can see this yellow line here. If we put the small and large intestines here, we'd find that that yellow line extends over the intestines, as does the greater omentum. So you're just seeing the tippy top of it that attaches to the bottom of the stomach on here. Overall, the stomach has a nice J shape to it. And hopefully that's what you need to know about the stomach.